Philippine National Police plans to use stickers on motorcycles to prevent riding in tandem crimes all over the Philippines. Police Chief Oscar Albayalde says the stickers will have security measures in place to prevent tampering. Uh, mahirap uh, pigayin. Although, siyempre, over the years, pwedeng magaya. Pero as of this time, uh, merong hologram, merong ano, pwedeng mong uh, sa QR cellphone. QR code. Yun ang sabi nung QR code. Ah, hindi. Pag hindi mo na matanggal yun, pag dinikit mo, dun sa, ano, dun sa, dun sa, dun sa, dun sa, dun sa tangke. Kasi iba iba yung motor, eh. meron mo lang Ang saan yung pinaka-visible na portion ng motorsiklo, kung ilalagay yun. From October 2017 to May 2018, cops counted 880 killings perpetrated by what they call motorcycle riding suspects or MRS for a day on average. Albayalde adds they are looking at having distinctly designed stickers per province. Whenever a riding in tandem shooting occurs, police will intensify checkpoint operations. With the stickers, cops can easily spot riders of interest, those who don't have stickers or those who have different stickers from different provinces. The stickers will also come in handy when crimes are committed along streets with security cameras. PNP Highway Patrol Group Chief Roberto Fajardo says they want to make the stickers mandatory for all motorcycle riders. Former President Noynoy Aquino says the graft complaint for the purchase of Dengvaxia vaccines filed against him should be immediately dismissed for lack of basis. Aquino faces state prosecutors on Monday during the preliminary investigation into the complaint filed by the Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption or VACC at the Department of Justice or DOJ. Aquino says he did nothing wrong in the purchase of the dengue vaccine and in the implementation of the immunization program. The VACC also filed a complaint against Aquino before the Commission on Elections and the Ombudsman over the Dengvaxia controversy. The two groups accused Aquino, former Budget Secretary Butch Abad and former Health Secretary Janet Garin of technical malversation, criminal negligence, violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. The school-based dengue vaccination program was launched by the DOH in April 2016 in Metro Manila, Central Luzon, and Calabarzon. The Department of Foreign Affairs says a 36-year-old overseas Filipino worker in Slovakia dies two days after two men beat him up for trying to defend women they were harassing. The DFA says Henry John Acorda died on May 31. In a statement, Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano says, quote, we mourn the loss of another of our own who, by all accounts, is a hero who came to the rescue of the defenseless in a land that is not even his. We give our assurance to Henry's family that we will do everything to make sure that those responsible for his death are brought to justice. The DFA says a 28-year-old local man was taken into custody in connection with the incident and charged with manslaughter. The Philippines is assisting Acorda's family who flew to Slovakia to look after him and after he died to facilitate retrieval of the body. After a decade of sizzling growth, the smartphone market has suddenly cooled. Surveys show smartphone sales last year shrank slightly for the first time since the 2007 debut of the iPhone and preliminary data in 2018 suggests further deceleration. Analysts say several factors hit the smartphone market including the lack of new features that wow consumers, people holding their devices longer, and the saturation of key markets including China which drove growth. Tech analysis research consultant and analyst Bob O'Donnell says, quote, The market has peaked, that is the bottom line. It is for sure not the death of the smartphone. It is the death of the growth of the smartphone market. The smartphone market began to hit saturation in 2016. Analysts say smartphone sellers should instead rely on shrewd competitive moves to ramp up revenues. Surveys say Samsung remains the market leader, but its lead over Apple has slipped. China's Huawei is holding the number 3 spot and rival Xiaomi has been growing rapidly despite the lack of a U.S. presence. The Golden State Warriors move halfway to its third title in four seasons Sunday by beating the Cleveland Cavaliers at 122-103. Stephen Curry of the Warriors scores 33 points and breaks the 8 three-pointers record in a finals game set by Ray Allen of Boston in 2010 by scoring 9 three-pointers. Cavalier superstar LeBron James netted 29 points but Cleveland came no closer than 5 points in the second half. 
The Cavaliers and Warriors are meeting for the fourth consecutive NBA Finals with Golden State having won titles in 2015 and 2017. Cleveland captured the 2016 crown, rallying from a 3-1 deficit in the greatest comeback in Finals history. The teams will face off again on Wednesday and Friday.